You know what's really annoying? When you only have one screen for your relatively small laptop. Well, don't worry anymore. This is the OIWAC, I guess I'd call it. O-I-I-W-A-K, triple monitor. Uh, they reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to review this. I do like myself some monitors. Uh, it's a triple monitor setup. So you have your primary monitor of the laptop itself and you have two on either side. Uh, looks like they're 14 inches. 74% NTSC is about is a uh, actually I think it's slightly over 100% sRGB. Uh, so that's good. That's really nice actually. It's not going to be uh, it's not going to be like a washed out crappy screen like you find on a lot of portable monitors unfortunately. Uh, 1200p. Ooh, they're 1200p. I thought they were 1080p. 1200p means more height. Critical because a lot of these laptops that I use are 1200p, 16 by 10. 16 by 10 means more aspect ratio, or that means a greater aspect ratio, more vertical height. Super nice there. Some contact stuff, uh, but I just want to actually test it out. So, so you can hook them up the three, a couple different ways, USB-C and C, depending on, I guess, how many connectors you have. Some laptops don't have dual USB-C. Uh, it's just the way they are. Some of them do. Some of them have HDMI. Some of them don't. This one here, if you go USB-A and HDMI, you can see that there. You can do that setup there. Uh, or you can do HDMI, USB-A, HDMI, USB-A. It all depends what you have. So some people don't have USB. This is be for a laptop that doesn't have any USB-C at all. Display out, so you go USB-A and HDMI, USB and HDMI. Uh, this one here would be, for example, on a laptop that only has one USB-C, and then it does have HDMI on the other side. Or if you have a dual USB-C laptop, you can do that. I have all kinds of different options here we can test. <laughs> Let's just try them out, basically. Well, they get pretty bright, too. Wow. 350 nits, typical. 400 max, both of those are good actually. <laughs> a lot of times, a lot of times uh, portable monitors are dim, which I find to be a problem because your primary monitor, you might have like a nice primary monitor and then your portable monitor on the side is super dim, it looks like garbage, uh, that's not good. It's really not that heavy actually. Um, yeah, I thought it would be this like giant unwieldy thing. It's not though. Um, yeah, I was just worried about it being heavy. It's certainly like, I mean, it's, it's gonna weigh about the same as this laptop here. So you're definitely gonna increase your weight, but if you have an Ultrabook, it's, you'll be fine. Like this is pretty light as it is. So um, that's fine. Uh, so that's that little attachment there. Nice metal robust look to it. Very nice. That's magnetized. It's looking good so far. Uh, you know, you got your hinges there. Very obvious. What's going on there? Open it up. Wah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So I guess we can take that off. Uh, that's a protector. Basically, that rubber thing is going to go between. Um, you'll notice that when I was closing it up, basically it went between kind of like that. Uh, and that pre would prevent them from banging into each other. So make sure you use this uh, carrying carrying thing, I guess. Cool. Okay, we'll set that to the side. And those are the screens there. Very nice. Um, get my laptop out of the way. It's right away here. So this is not something that you're going to probably take on a plane because, you know, you don't have a lot of room. But this is like a, I need to go to a spot and get really set up type situation, you know, where you're going to move to a location, you're going to sit down and you're going to get set up uh, where you're at and have a nice workstation without, I don't know, carrying an actual monitor with you. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? Um, looks good though. Yeah, we're just going to snap it in. But in terms of the build, I mean, these are nice metal hinges here. Right, very nice, robust, all metal. Obviously, I mean, you're not gonna want plastic on something like this. Metal frame around the uh, screens themselves, that's all metal, all metal there. It's looking good. On the back there, you get your kickstand there. Um, I guess there's a, probably several ways we could set this up. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it looks, looks all good so far, all metal, all metal. Very nice, nice little design in the back there. I guess that's just for design kind of thing. It's looking good though. I like the uh, the dark kind of, the light metal look to it. Like even that has two different tones to it. It shows up on camera. Yeah, and then I guess we kind of just snap it on like that, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty straightforward. Um, this laptop probably has enough hinge power because it's a pretty strong laptop there. Hey, you can see me. Uh, probably has enough hinge power there to actually hold it. It's nice, it feel, it's firm on the screen, but it didn't like, I don't, I'm not worried about scratching my laptop and this is metal, so it could be scratched. I'm not worried about it. It has a nice grip around it. Uh, we'll zoom in there. There's a, uh, the rubber actually comes over, it's curved. So it's just going over the edge of the screen there and grabbing it nicely. This is a firm kind of, I don't know, pull in here. Uh, the hinges there are nice and firm. It's not problematic though. It's not like it's hard to pull, but the reason that I'm saying it's firm is because it's gonna stay, right? It's gonna stay where you want it to be, so. That looks good. 
and they're not wobbly. I mean, the whole desk is wobbly, um, but the actual screens aren't wobbly, which is interesting. Okay, cool, that's working. It worked perfectly on the 16 inch. Uh, it works perfectly on the 14 inch, fits the 14 inch. You do have to make sure that your ports are full function. Um, you can't just use like any USB-C, right? It can't be just a general USB-C. It has to be a USB-C that supplies uh, power and display, both of them. So like a Thunderbolt port, I guess, would do the trick, right? This laptop here has two Thunderbolt 4 ports and they're uh, full function, I guess. So it's uh, totally fine. But if you just have like any old USB-C, uh, I don't think it's gonna work because you're gonna need uh, power and display off of the laptop. Um, so just, just be aware of that, right? Uh, if it doesn't though, then you can use the HDMI, right? So that's something to be aware of. If you don't have the USB-C full function, then you can go with um, HDMI. So what I just wanna do here is go through some of these settings because there's a button on the top there. Let's just, oh, there's all kinds of stuff. All right, um, yeah, let's see what we got in here. Okay, so what do we have in there? So we have brightness. Uh, turn that up there. Yeah, it's fairly bright. I mean, it's not crazy bright, but it's fairly bright. Contrast, I'd probably leave that. Uh, very impressed with these colors. It definitely is 100% RGB. They're not BSing about that. Um, you can really tell that it is actually. What's this do? Game, movie, ooh, movies actually. Text, standard, yeah. Uh, dynamic contrast ratio, that's, it like it's gonna get brighter in some scenes, darker in others. It's, you can turn that on if you want, it's your call. Uh, color temperature, yeah, you can play with this. And actually it's fine as it is, I wouldn't actually play with it. It looks like maybe they pre-calibrated it, 47, 50, 53. Maybe they did, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tough for me to film like physically, there's so much screen and they're off on an angle. The iPhone might freak out a little bit because they're on an angle. Uh, let's bring it back slightly here. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of screen here. So, so if you wanna get work done, I mean, that's gonna obviously work. So yeah, I mean, right off the bat, I mean, we know what we're looking at here. It's obviously working. I didn't know it did that. It put the start menu in the center. That's cool. Oh, I didn't know it did that. I didn't know it did that, so that's really cool. Yeah, very neat. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm using this background here, I like it. Uh, we can test out kind of the best case scenario being an OLED and then, you know, AP, IPS comparing against it. And uh, honestly, the, um, the contrast is pretty good, right? If you can see that there, it's gonna be a bit glossy. Let me turn off some of these lights here, right? For a non-OLED screen, it's not, it's pretty good, especially for a portable monitor. I find a lot of times portable monitors I don't know, they just don't look good, right? Just portable monitors. Um, but these guys have obviously done a good job. These are very nice monitors. And you can see here, even in the color vibrancy, um, like the red here, over here, and the red here, they're very close. The only, the real difference here is this is a glossy screen. This is a non, not so glossy screen. And when you get a glossy screen, um, the colors just look slightly different. I don't think you would want a glossy screen here because um, if it's a central screen, glossy is okay because it, you're looking right at it. But side screens, if they were glossy, you'd probably get a lot of reflections. Uh, so it's actually good that they're not glossy. I have a light, by the way, shining like right at the screen. Technically, um, I could turn it off and really improve this, but I don't want to do that. I actually want to show how, how good this is actually handling that reflection. Look at that, That's, there's a light right there. Okay, so let's come in here. We'll just do some different little tests here. So first things first, look how good that black is. That's got really good contrast actually. And there's no bleed. Right, no IPS bleed around the screen here at all. Let's, you can kind of see that. That's the reflection in the background there. Look how well it's handling that reflection in the back there. And you can see that there's no IPS bleed. It's actually oversaturating it slightly. There you go. Yeah, look at that. That looks really good actually. The colors look nice too. Again, this is a crater level, high level OLED screen. And uh, you can see they're pretty good. Again, not glossy. Uh, this is 100% DCIP. This is 100% sRGB. So uh, they're both very good. They're just slightly different, I, I suppose. Um, DCIP has slightly bolder reds, but you'll see here when we get this playing here a little bit. It's looking pretty good, honestly. Right? The fact that it's even remotely comparable to this screen here is very impressive, actually. 
Okay, so that's looking pretty good there. Let's turn the lights back on here. I'm pretty impressed so far. Um, yeah, it's doing a really good job actually. Um, let's kick out to one more scene here. This one can just hang out, I guess. Since we have so many screens, um, I mean, it, it does look really good actually. All right. Yeah, they're quite nice actually. Um, yeah, so let's come out of here come out of here. So I'm pretty happy with that right now. Uh, I'm also pretty happy with how well they're fitting a 16-inch uh, laptop. Um, with a 16-inch laptop, you get so much screen real estate because this is already pretty big. And then this is quite nice here. So, I mean, if you're looking for a ton of screen real estate, that's really nice. Now, let's say I'm bringing in this other screen over here, right? And this is one that I've been using. It's a nice screen. And then, you know, this would, for example, have to stand. It's not going to be at the right level. You know, this is floating, right? This is floating here. So it's perfect. Um, that it's just right over there. I move the mouse over this thing. I'm gonna have to keep adjusting it if I move that. The other thing is, you know, if I'm sitting on a computer desk, sure. But I also have like a laptop um, kind of stand that I put on my lap sometimes when I'm working. And what happens is when I set it on the laptop stand, there's nowhere for it to go. The laptop stand is only this big. So this thing is just free floating, maybe on like the arm of my couch or something. Like where am I gonna put this stupid thing? And so it's always falling over. Uh, and has nowhere to be. So, you know, I've been trying to use this monitor uh, and, you know, get away with it. And, you know, I'm like, ah, it's nice, you know, to have a second monitor. And it really helps me with like when I'm doing video editing, but the stupid screen has nowhere to be. Like, I don't know where to put it. It's just floating on the side. And <laughs> it's, that's, it's does, it kind of kills the whole vibe for it. So I almost never use that portable screen, even though it's a good portable screen, because I, I don't, where am I gonna put it, right? Like, I'm just gonna have it floating, right? And if I'm like, if I have a small desk or something, smaller desk, like maybe the desk is only this big, where am I gonna put it, right? Am I gonna put this thing off to the side so the laptop's dangling? It's a pain, massive pain in the butt. Here, you can set these up and you actually have like a reasonable place and you don't actually need a good base, big base. like. You only need the base of the laptop to be covered, right? So the ThinkPad here is basically as much room as you need. As long as the table can fit a ThinkPad, 16 inch ThinkPad, then you're fine. This can just float if need be, right? Um, what else can we test? I don't know, let's test as HDMI, okay? So um, let's make this one into an HDMI, I guess. So we'll go HDMI in to the monitor. Bring that in, okay. So mini HDMI on this side, full size HDMI to the computer. Now that will give it the display that you do have to give it power and you just give it power over USB-A and I'm sure your laptop has USB-A or USB-C. If you don't have USB-C, you'll have USB-A. We'll put it that way. So there it goes, HDMI. All right, here we go. Um, I wonder if it recognizes it as the same screen. No, it didn't, it, obviously, because one's USB-C, one's uh, HDMI. So then you go like that. You can do extend uh, one, two. So it'll be, I guess, what will the center be? Will the center be one? Yeah, center will be, th oh, center will be one. Yeah, and then that's three over there. I think it, yeah, it knows which ones they are now. That rubber thing goes in there. You can see that there. And you just basically close it on the, close this on the rubber guy here so that it doesn't um, smash the screens. It just protects it right there. And you're basically done, right? Uh, check it out. Uh, if I can find uh, Amazon links, I will put them down below. I do use affiliate links, um, not through this company, but through Amazon. So if you use them, I do get a little bit of commission. Feel free to not do that. And then I'll put some links to their website as well. But it's definitely very nice. It's a very nice product. So I can see why it exists. Um, I can see its purpose. This one here, I actually am going to... Um, yeah, this one here is actually going to make your name. This one here is actually gonna remain on my shelf. I'm gonna put these on here for now because I have a session with protecting things. Um, it's gonna hang out on my shelf. And then you say, say, okay, what are you gonna use this for? Well, anytime I travel, like if I'm going somewhere, uh, this thing's coming with me, to be honest. This is actually coming with me. 